Sergeant Preston of the Yukon. On ten, on you huskies. <laughs> gold, gold discovered in the Yukon. Back to the days of the gold rush. And the adventures of Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog, Yukon King, as they meet the challenge of the Yukon in their relentless pursuit of lawbreakers. The Quaker Oats Company, makers of Quaker Pop Wheat and Quaker Pop Rice, the delicious cereals shot from guns, and the Mutual Broadcasting System, present by special recording, Sergeant Preston of the Yukon. Our adventure will begin in just a moment. A little thought, a few moments of planning can change your whole existence. You can have security instead of worries about the future if you start now to invest regularly in United States savings bonds. For regular systematic saving, two plans have been set up for your convenience. The payroll savings plan where you work and the bond a month plan where you bank. With the payroll savings plan, you authorize your employer to set aside a certain sum each payday and invest the money in bonds for you. On the bond a month plan, for those who are not on a payroll, you authorize your bank to issue bonds to you each month and charge the purchase price to your checking account. Bonds may be redeemed any time after two months at the purchase price plus interest. Remember, savings bonds are absolutely safe and are protected against loss, theft, or destruction. Now, even better, invest more in savings bonds. This message is brought to you as a public service. Barton went to the Yukon Territory to make easy money. From among the rough men who hoped to profit from the work of others, he picked two companions, Slim Beaver and Frank Carver. Within a short time, Herb and his companions were notorious throughout the territory. And since they had succeeded in evading the law and covering their trail each time, Herb Barton and his cronies began to think they were invincible. The most recent crime of the Barton crowd started when one of them overheard a conversation in a White Horse Cafe and reported it to Herb in their hotel room. Where you been, Herb? Over to the cafe. Heard something that might interest you, Herb. Yeah, what? Well, I hope it's something that'll bring us in some dough. We could use some about now. I think it'll get us plenty if Herb decides to go to work on it. A couple of prospectors were in the cafe telling the barkeep about an old sourdough who made a strike a few miles from here on the North Trail. What's that got to do with us? Uh, just this. An old sourdough, or Cy Atkins, he lives out there alone with his eight-year-old granddaughter. I understand he hasn't brought his take into town. Seems to think he has a better hiding place right out there at his cabin. Oh. And what you're thinking is that he's got gold out there in hiding, just waiting for us to go take him. Is that it, Frank? Yeah. Ought to be a cinch to grab that gold from the old man and that youngster. Yeah. There'd be nothing to it. What do you think, sir? We'll go out there and make him sell where the gold is hidden. And we'll grab it. When do we go after it? Right now? No, we wait until tonight. So no one will see us riding out of town in the North Trail. No use making people suspicious. And after we grab the gold, we'll double back and head for Skagway. We could reach there before the snow comes. That's just what we'll do, Frank. Maybe after this, that old sourdough will learn to keep his mouth shut about what he digs from his claim. Early that evening, Sergeant Preston and Yukon King followed the North Trail on a trip to Elk Landing. They stopped for a short visit with Cy Atkins and his granddaughter, Jenny. Oh, buggy. Oh, boy. Come along, Jenny. Well, Sergeant Preston and King, we heard you stopping out here, and Jenny said she was sure it was you. Hello, Sergeant. Oh, darling, I'm glad to see King again. Good morning, out of the chill wind. Thanks, Cy. We couldn't pass without saying hello to you and Jenny, could we, King? <laughs> here you are. Just sit right here, Sergeant. Thanks, sir. Eh? Grandpa found a lot of gold, no, no, Sergeant. Jenny, let me tell the Sergeant about it. I heard about it in town, sir. Si. Is it really true? Yep. At last, I made a strike. I got plenty hit here. Well, don't you think it's risky to hide your gold, sir? Si? 
Why not take it to the bank in Whitehorse? Well, I tell you, Sergeant, I don't trust banks. What's more, I wonder where I can look at it once in a while to make sure I really do have gold. Well, I can understand how you feel, Sy, but I think you're making a big mistake keeping it here. I'll be back this way tomorrow. Why don't you ride into town with me and deposit your gold where it'll be safe? Well, you think I ought to, Sergeant? I certainly do. Since I heard about your gold, others have surely heard about it, too. And there are a good many men here in the Yukon who wouldn't hesitate to try to get it. <laughs> they have to find it first. I have a mighty good hiding place for it. But since you think I ought to, I'll take it to town tomorrow when you come back this way. Good. That's the sensible thing to do, Sai. After visiting a while with Cy Atkins and Jenny, Preston rose to leave. Well, can oh. I have to leave now? Huh? Oh, I wish you didn't have to leave yet. I, I wanted to stay and play a little while. Well, golly, you and King just got here, Sergeant. Oh, well, uh, tell you what, Jenny. Suppose I leave King here until I come back tomorrow. Would you like that? Oh, golly. Would you leave him, honest? Of course. That is, if your grandfather doesn't object. What? Object? <laughs> Let me tell you, if I had my way, King would stay here all the time. How would you like that, Sergeant? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll stop by tomorrow on the way back to town. Stay here, King. Stay with Jenny. <laughs> King doesn't like me to go without him. I know he'll enjoy being here with you, Jenny. Bye. Bye. Ready, boy. Easy now. Hey, Plucky. It was some time later when Herb Barton and his two companions, Slim and Frank, pulled to a stop in front of Cy Yakin's cabin. Oh, 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 oh. First, we lack sort of night so as to get inside without the old man becoming suspicious. Come on. Hey, he's got a dog in there. We didn't count on that. Don't worry about the mutt. Leave it to me. As they stood waiting, Cy unlocked the door and opened it to crack. The old sourdough peered out cautiously at the three figures standing in the eerie light of the Yukon night. And then he asked, Well... What is it you want? All right, Mr. Atkins. Nothing at all to worry about. Just what is it you want, mister? I brought a message for you from town. That dog barking makes it hard for me to talk. Uh, quiet there. Quiet, King. Yeah, he doesn't seem to mind you very well. Jenny, take King and shut him up in the back room, will you? There. The dog's shut in the back room. Come in now if you want. Thanks. You don't intend to stay long. Now, what is it you want to tell me, mister? Now, hold your horses, Pop. Frank, over there, turn the key in the door to that back room where the dog is. Right. Dog, why are you locking the door? Oh, you can't come out with the door closed. We're not taking any chances, little girl. Now, Atkins, let's get right to the point. Where's all that gold you got hidden around here? Come on, what? speak up and make it fast. It's done. So that's it. You came here to rob me. You heard about my gold. Oh, they admit he has gold here. Oh, Slam's up. Make them go away. I'm oh, shut up, youngster. I'll bust your ears. These ornery critters are thieves, Jenny. They've come here to steal our gold. Sergeant Preston warned me somebody might hear about it and try to get it from me. Sergeant Preston? You hear that, Herb? He's talking about that money with the big dog. Yeah, I know. Sergeant Preston's big dog team is right there in the back room. And if he gets out, he'll make you leave us alone. Oh, so that's the great husky we've been hearing about, huh? Well, we'll see that he doesn't get out of that room. Where's that gold hidden, Atkins? You better tell us and tell us quick if you know what's good for you. Since you came here to get it, you can just hunt until you find it, mister. I'm not telling you or anybody else where it is. He's wasting our time, Herb. That dog in there is Sergeant Preston. He must be coming back soon. The old man's just stolen for time. Sergeant Preston will come back tomorrow, and then you'll be sorry. Hush up, Jenny. She shouldn't have told him that. Well, I'm glad she did tell him. Now we don't have to be in any rush. Sorry, Grandpa. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right, Jenny. Forget it. Make the old coot talk, Herb. We give him a good going over, he'll tell us. Nope. Even if you do beat me, I'll not tell you. I'll let King out. Then you'll let us alone. Ready, youngster Frank. Come here, you. Let me go. Let me go. Hey, take your hands off my granddaughter, you hear? Hey, that dog knows something's wrong out here. If King gets out, he'll help us. Let me go. Grandpa, I'm afraid. Now listen, Pop. We don't go for slapping little girls around. And I know you wouldn't want to see such a thing happen. Now, you better tell us where that gold is hidden, and you better talk back. Oh, sir. Grandpa, make them let me go. He's holding my arm and hurt. You yell it back, child. Take your hands off that youngster, you hear? That's up to you, Pop. 
Now, what do you say? You want to see a little girl like that get her ears boxed just as you want to be stubborn? Grandpa, please let me go. Oh, no, mister, let her go, let her go. I, I reckon you will. Sure. Now you're talking sense. Let her go, Frank. Sure. I'm afraid of you. Now, come on, speak up. Where's the gold? I'm near a loose floorboard in that corner over there. Go find out if he's telling the truth, Slim. All right. It'll take a minute to find out. Here's a little floorboard, like he says. Is the gold there? Yeah. Yeah, a couple of sacks. It's the gold, all right. Now what do we do, Herb? Tie the old man and the girl and gag him. Hurry up and get it over there. Sure. That won't take long. While Herb Barton held a gun, the other two crooks tied and gagged Cy Atkins and Jenny. <laughs> then they carried them to a bunk and left them there. Yeah, that's done. Yeah. Can't spread the alarm now. What about the dog in the back room, Herb? Can't get out, so why worry? I've heard stories about how he helped Sergeant Preston track people. When Preston does come back, that dog will help him tail us. Yeah, I didn't think of that. I better fix that much more easier. You could shoot at him through the window, maybe. Ah, I notice as we rode up that all the wooden shutters are closed. They fasten on the inside. I'll tell you what. You go unlock the door, Frank. Yeah? Then what? The door opens out. So you and Slim put your weight against it. Ease it open just a crack. Now you have to be careful the dog doesn't lunge against it and get through. Come on, Slim. All right. Now what, Herb? Leave the door open just a crack, like I said before. I'll plug that mutt with a bullet as he lunges at the small opening. All right, I'm ready now, so go ahead. Pull it open just a little. Hey, all right. Keep your weight against it, Slim. Now, here it goes. Quick, Herb. He's trying to get out. Give it to him, Herb. So quiet him. Yeah. That's got him. Lying quiet. Now let's get away from here. When that money comes here tomorrow, you won't be able to trail us without that mutt. We'll cover our trail when we leave here. That's right. Let's go. We'll continue our adventure in just a moment. Listen, all you fellas, girls, mothers, dads, everybody. There's something special for each one of you inside your package of Quaker Oats or Mother's Oats right now. It's a folder that offers you nationally known merchandise at savings up to 40% or more. Just use the little blue stars from Quaker cereal packages. They count like money towards such items for you fellas and girls as a Wilson Fielder's mitt, complete camera outfit, beautiful Love Me Baby doll, roller skate, tricycle. One of the items for you dads is a Remington Deluxe Shaver. Regular $29.50 value with 10 blue stars, only $18.83. A saving of over $10. And you ladies can save $40 on a 17-jewel Benrus watch. Just buy Quaker Oats or Mother's Oats, either quick or old-fashioned, round or square package. The folder inside gives you full details. Hurry, save up to 40% or more on valuable and useful merchandise. Get Quaker Oats or Mother's Oats today. Now to continue. For some time after the crooks had left, the great dog king lay still. Thinking the husky was dead, Barton and his cronies had left the door open between the rooms. But the bullet had just grazed the top of King's head, stunning him for a time. Finally, the dog stirred, and with a puzzled whine, rose shakily to his feet. For a moment, King stood still. Then he walked slowly into the main part of the cabin where Cy Atkins and little Jenny lay bound and gagged on the bunk. King went over to Jenny and whined. Then, seeing the girl struggle, the intelligent dog realized she was tied. He put his front paws on the edge of the bunk and sniffed at the cords that bound Jenny's hands. And then he started gnawing at the cords. In a few moments, the cord parted, and Jenny reached up and removed the gag from her mouth. Oh, King! I thought you were dead. Now I'll take the cord from his feet and... Yes, In a short time, Cy Atkins was also free. And as he and Jenny stood rubbing their wrists, King whined and sniffed at the front door. Oh, Jenny, honey, they, they got my gold every bit of it. But if that were lucky King was here, and that he didn't get killed. Here, here, fella. Yep, just like I figured. That bullet just creased the top of King's head. Oh, uh, get a cloth and that bottle on the shelf, Jenny. All right. Poor fella. You would have kept him out in the first place if I hadn't been so dumb to put you in the other room like I did. Here's a bottle, Jenny. Just put it in the table there. Oh. 
Now, King, this will help you a bit. Yeah. Oh, easy, fella. I'm not aiming to hurt you. Yeah. You'll feel better now. Oh. 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 He wants to go out. Maybe he wants to follow those bad men, Grandpa. Well, I reckon that's it, all right. But they have guns. They'd really kill him next time. We could get Sergeant oh, oh, oh. He'd go with King and get back your gold. I, I know he would. Sergeant Preston, that must be it. Oh, oh, oh. You see, Jenny, King knows we're talking about his master. He's a well-trained dog. Maybe if I tell him to, he'll go find the Sergeant. Oh, golly, Grandpa, do you really think that? It's worth trying. I know he would. Sergeant Preston, that must be it. Oh, oh, oh. You see, Jenny, King knows we're talking about his master. He's a well-trained dog. Maybe if I tell him to... He'll go find the sergeant. Oh, golly, Grandpa, do you really think that? It's worth trying. Find Sergeant Preston, King. Get Sergeant Preston. Go get him, fella. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Look. Oh, 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 oh. He's just running toward the door and then back to you, Grandpa. Yeah, I'm sure he knows. I'll open the front door let him out. Come on, King. Oh. Find Sergeant Preston. Go on, boy. Get oh. Sergeant Preston. Oh. Several hours later, Sergeant Preston, who was sleeping in the cabin of the constable at Elk Landing, was awakened by barking and scratching at the cabin door. Sergeant, do you hear that? Yes. Sounds like King. But I told him to stay at Cy Atkins until I got back there. And I'll go see if it is, King. Okay? <laughs> Why, King, what brought you here, fellow? What happened to your head? Come here, boy. <laughs> what is it, Sergeant? Why, King followed you here, I wonder. The looks of his head, I'd say he's trying to tell me I need it back at the Atkins place, Constable. Well, you mean he'd go back there right now because King's acting that way? Well, maybe. I know King better than you do. He trailed me here for a purpose, and I'm going to dress and go back. I'm sure there's something wrong. If you have that much faith in King, I'll dress and go along with you. Oh, that's a bullet crease on King's head. I know something's wrong at Cy Atkins' cabin. Let's hurry. Oh, oh, oh. It was early morning when Sergeant Preston and the constable arrived with King at Cy Atkins' cabin and learned what had happened. They took Grandpa's gold, Sergeant, and, and he shot at King. Oh, we thought poor King was killed, too. I saw the bullet mark, Jenny. I'll regret that. King will not give up until he tracks them to their hiding place. I think King wanted to go right after him, but I told him to go for you, Sergeant. Glad you did, Sy. He's sure some dog to understand the way he seems to. I've trained King since he was a pup, Constable. I start after those cooks now. I hope when we come back, Sai, we'll have your gold for you. All right, Constable, let's go. Come on, King. <laughs> Once outside, King had no trouble picking up the scent of the men he hated. Meanwhile, Herb Barton and his friends, Slim and Frank, had covered their tracks by riding for a couple of miles in the shallow creek. And then, after circling the town of Whitehorse, they rode along the trail toward the south border. Finally, they sighted a deserted cabin a short distance ahead of them. Hey, we can hold up in that deserted cabin just ahead and fix some grub. I'm hungry. Yeah, I could do with some rest, too. Hey, you reckon it's safe to stop, fellas? I think we ought to put plenty of distance between us and that old sourdough cabin. Ah, what are you worried about? We'll be plenty safe enough. It's early morning. Money will be heading back to that cabin. He finds the old man and little girl's hide and gagged. And especially when he finds out what you did to his dog, he'll be hot on our trail. Sure, but even if he does manage to track us as far as the creek, we'll lose our trail there. Remember, he doesn't have that muck to help him now. We've had many a Mount East Rider trail us before this. That's right, and we always cut away. Preston isn't going to be any better than the rest of them without that dog of his. Yeah, thanks, right, Slim. Now, there's the cabin. Let's tie the horse behind it and then go inside. Hello, oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. I'll take the gold inside where we can keep an eye on it. All right, let's go in. After King had picked up the scent of the crooks and led Sergeant Preston and the constable around the town, the two Mounties found themselves traveling the trail south of Whitehorse. For some time, they rode in silence. And then as they rounded a bend in the trail, Sergeant Preston pointed ahead and spoke. Look, there's a cabin ahead on the left. And there are horses behind it. You think they belong to the men we're after? That's possible. That time I came this way, that cabin was deserted. Stop a minute. Here, King. Oh, my God. What are we going to do, Sergeant? Circle we'll around through the trees and approach the cabin from the rear. I'll we'll soon find out who's there. Get up, boy. Come on. Mm-hmm. 
We'll continue our adventure in just a moment. Watch the premiere of Sergeant Preston of the Yukon on television Thursday. Thursday is the big night. The premiere of the adventure series you've loved on radio. Starring Sergeant Preston, his big black horse Rex, and his wonder dog Yukon King. They're brand new stories, packed with adventure, mystery, romance, bravery. Everything the whole family likes. Now you can actually see Sergeant Preston fighting hand-to-hand -hand with desperados of the Yukon. Actually see his dog King leap at gold-hungry killers. You'll see magnificent scenery unfold before your eyes, rushing rapids of rivers, and later, terrifying avalanches and snow slides. It's something new and different in television. Brought to you on a coast-to-coast -coast network by all the Quaker cereals, Quaker Pop Wheat and Rice, Quaker Oats and Mother's Oats, Muffet Shredded Wheat, and Quaker Pack O' Ten. Remember, it's every Thursday evening, starting this week, the exciting premiere of Sergeant Preston of the Yukon on television. Check your newspaper for the time and the station nearest you. Now to continue. Inside the cabin, Herb Barton and his two friends had just finished eating, and they heard horses outside. Hey, Herb, you hear that? Something's bothering the horses. Yeah, I wonder what it is. Anything out the window? Oh, I can't get a view of the back from here. Why well, not take a look around, Slim? All right. Maybe a wolf snooping around or something like that. That's yeah. what I think, but we can't be too careful. Hey, that's a something. Couple of mounties. Mounties? Yeah. I looked around the corner of the cabin and saw them dismounting back in the trees. What are we going to do? Take it easy. They can't prove anything against us. We'll have our guns ready, just for Great soldier! Hey, hey, I'll plug one of those dirty red coats. Oh, yeah. oh my God! Oh, thank you, fool. They got nothing on us. We have plenty on you, Herb Barton. He recognizes you. I've seen enough handles on him. How about those guns? Who, Clint? What's it, constable? Oh, no! Oh, oh. oh. my ribs. I dropped my gun. I hope they got their guns. Yeah. You men are too slow on the door for this business. As Sergeant Preston stooped to pick up the guns, Herb, in a last desperate attempt to turn the tables on the Mounties, sprang forward and swung a terrific blow to Preston's jaw. I'll fix you. The blow knocked Sergeant Preston crashing against the table, which overturned, dropping him to the floor. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait, Constable. Duncan, stay, boy. I'm glad that happened. Barton, I'm mighty glad you started something, because I'm going to finish it for what you did to my dog. Why, well, I'll knock you down again right now. That's all I need. I'll kill you. <laughs> The fight was over. And for a moment, there wasn't a sound. Even the great dog King seemed to sense the tenseness of the moment. And then Slim spoke. Holy Max. Get up, Button. Uh, I've had enough. Hey, King. Watch him, fella. I thought that dog was Duncan. This must be Sergeant Preston. Yeah, nobody else could have whipped Herb like that. Money swept up the floor with them. These two sacks on the table must be kayaks and gold, Sergeant. We'll take hand along with these trucks to size cabin for definite identification. Let's bandage their wounds and be on our way. After the crook's wounds had been attended to, they were tied to their horses. The two Mounties took them back to Cy Atkins' place. Hold on, Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll bring Cy and Jenny out here to look at them. Right. Sergeant, you, you brought them back. Oh, Charlie, I knew you would. Come out and look them over, Cy. You too, Jenny. Come on, Jenny. Five, Jimmy, those are the three crooks who took my gold and shot at King. Oh, that's right, Sergeant. And they were awful mean. And I was afraid of them, too. I have your gold in my saddlebag, Cy. Si. I'll uh, get it. There you are. Hey, I... Say, Sergeant. Oh, that dog, I can't figure out yeah, how he... You thought you killed him, didn't you? But all you did was scrape the top of his head with a bullet. He gnawed the rope. And even went after Sergeant Preston. Well, we should have known that mutt was too smart for us. Ah, shut up. We just had bad luck, that's all. Sure, and it was our good luck that Sergeant Preston left King with us last night. I arrest you three men in the name of the Crown. Sire, si, what are you going to do about that gold now that you have it back? Uh, well, I reckon I'm going to do just what you told me to do, Sergeant. I'm going to ride into town with you and the constable right now and put this gold in the bank. That's more like it. Oh, darling. 
Hunting King is just the most wonderful dog in the whole world, Johnny. You know, I think a great deal of King myself, Johnny. Ah, oh, he's just another mutt to me. King doesn't like him, does he, Sergeant? Dogs are pretty good judges of people, Jenny. When King shows dislike for someone, I'm always suspicious of that party. Oh, I'm sure glad he likes Grandpa and me. You do like me, don't you, King? <laughs> <laughs> he certainly does, Jenny. Now, you and your grandfather better get ready to ride to town with us. I'm anxious to get Boston and his friends in jail. Then this case will be closed. Sergeant Preston will return in just a moment with a word about our next exciting adventure. It's an unbreakable case of really enjoyable listening when you stay tuned to Mutual's Mysteries throughout the week. Distinguished cast and all-star productions are featured on each. Broadway Cop is the tale of an unofficial aid to the Metropolitan Police with the dramatic impact of heartbreak and heroism. John Steele, adventurer, invites you to share an excursion into little-known corners of the world. And you can travel further along the path to adventure when you join Brady Cage. Sentence is a unique series based on the role played in modern crime detection by today's incredible electronic brain. And in addition, there's the hard-hitting city editor with the story behind the headlines as seen through the eyes of a big city newsman. There are your clues. Your solution to a relaxing evening with a good mystery is on Mutual. Hear them all every week over most of these stations. And now, here is Sergeant Preston. Reporting for duty, Inspector. Sergeant, we're certain now that the man who killed Jake Hunter crossed the border yesterday afternoon, and is now in American territory. Here's a letter to the United States Marshal in Skagway. Well, I'm sure the Marshal will cooperate, sir, but uh, what if the man's left Skagway? There's no need for you to report back here, Sergeant. Follow him, if necessary, to China. Yes, sir. But the killer is still in Skagway expecting someone from the Northwest Mounted Police to follow him and hoping that someone will be Sergeant Preston. His plans are already made to make the red coat of the sergeant a target for murder. Don't miss this next exciting adventure. <laughs> 